I want to give all glory and praises to the Most High and to His mighty Son, Yahweh Bahashim Hamashiach Yahweh Today we're going to go over Dave Chappelle's comments on the baby and the alphabet community. A lot of the LBGTQ community doesn't know the baby's history. He's a wild guy. He once shot a <laughs> and killed him in Walmart. Oh, this is true. Google it. The baby shot and killed a in Walmart in North Carolina. Nothing bad happened to his career. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> in our country, you can shoot and kill a but you better not hurt a gay person's feelings. I am not saying that to say that trans women aren't women. I am just saying that those that they got. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's not. It's like beyond impossible. Tastes like quite what it is, is it? It's not blood, that's beet juice. A month or so ago, the baby got canceled for his anti-alphabet um, comments. He didn't say anything wrong, according to the Bible. Like, if you go to the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. You shall not be a sodomite, a homosexual, pansexual, queer, any of the tranny, a tranny, none of that. It is unnatural and it's sinful. So this uh, Israelite king, he didn't say anything wrong. And it is very strange how his actual sin being a murder and taking the life of someone else wasn't a big deal to you heathens but when he said something against the alpha community your little feelings got hurt and now he can't have a career anymore words can't hurt you but guns can that person's dead and they cannot come back but he said some words that you'll probably forget in a few months but now he can't have a career anymore it's very interesting but God does not like murders. This could have been a punishment. As a matter of fact, we can get that in the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 8. The last book in the New Testament. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and the and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idlers and all liars shall have their part in, in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And when we refer to the second death, that is the death of the soul. The first death is the death of your body. And only the Most High can kill both body and soul. So you should be afraid. Repent today. It's free. And in regards to the LGBTIAQ R S T U V W X Y and Z community. This is for you. The book of Romans chapter 1 verse 26. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Nature. Which refers to lesbians you bisexual women god says it's unnatural it's sinful and you will die if you continue two women cannot make a child sorry to tell you that book of romans chapter 1 verse 27 and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one towards another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat it's talking about, again, you homosexual men, you effeminate men, you men who like to put on dresses like little Nas, um, who like to wear nails and makeup like you are a woman. Do you, do you know how ridiculous you look? 
that's gonna get you a one-way ticket to the lake of fire and don't worry we will be laughing at you from the chariots and speaking of your demise here the book of first corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 these are the ones that are not getting into the kingdom of heaven the book of first corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate nor abusers of themselves with ma mankind nor thieves nor covetous nor drunkards nor revilers nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of god so you fornicators you men and women who go around sleeping with people who are not your husband and or wife you idolaters you worship things that are not the most high like yourselves or inanimate objects or seizure borgia white jesus nor adulterers you men and women who sleep with people who aren't your husband and wife you're married and you're think you're thinking about your neighbor's wife you're married and you're sleeping with a guy at work nor effeminate again like little nas x you guys wear makeup you guys wear uh, you guys wear dresses you guys have a feminine spirit you guys are like women in a, a man's body strong's concordance it also means catamite Maybe. boy hungry homosexual pedophile and also a homosexual nor abusers of themselves of mankind again homosexuals nor anybody a part of the lgbt QIAT, you know, all of that. You guys are all, all included in that. Nor thieves, you, you people who steal. Even if you get an extra item at the store by accident, that's stealing. You need to go return that. If you get extra money from your job, like they did your paycheck incorrectly, that's stealing. You need to give that money back. Nor covetous. You envious people, you want what other people have, especially what the oppressor has. Do not envy what he has. He has nothing in comparison to what we'll get in the kingdom. Nor drunkards, you men and women who love alcohol, you get silly drunk and you, it lowers your inhibition and you will commit sins more freely. So don't be, don't be drunkards, nor revilers you spew venom from your mouth against your fellow israelite brother or sister you're always cursing that's murdering your fellow israelite brother or sister think about what you say nor extortioners these are blackmailers you tell someone like oh i have dirty information on you so you have to do x y and z for me that's wrong and that will get you a one-way ticket to the lake of fire you will not inherit the kingdom of God. And this is for Israelite men and women only. Repent today. Stop being a homosexual. Stop being a part of the alphabet community. That is not you. We are created to be straight people who have children together. That's what men and women, that's why a man and a woman make children. Nothing else is natural. Nothing else is okay and if you want to get into the kingdom of heaven you need to repent and stop being a part of that community stop having lust for the same sex and with that shalom